I love that. That's Foreigner, and before that, Smith's. That's made my day. Jamie Louise with you on BBC Radio Wells. It's 11 minutes past 11. While those two classics were playing, well, we've been running around, plugging things in and uh, moving chairs and microphones because the Klezmer Collective are here, who uh, are an eight-piece Cardiff-based band uh, specialising in Klezmer music. I know you've never heard of it either. I haven't. Uh, Adam and Rossi are here uh, to tell us a little bit more. Um, Adam, uh, Klezmer music, never heard of it. What is it? Well, it's... um from Eastern Europe, from about 100 years ago, primarily, um, it's gypsy music, it's Jewish secular music. Um, none of us are Jewish, but we just, we like the music, you know. It's uh, party music, fundamentally, you know, for people to get pissed to and have a bit of a jump about. So tell us, how did you, how did you get involved and how did you hear about it and how did you all get together? Well, well, Adam is really the uh, the mastermind of the whole band, and uh, and I first met Adam, uh, well, almost two years ago now, at about two in the morning in Lloyd's in the, in Cardiff of all places, and um, and he just asked me if um, if I'd be interested in joining the band. So I said, uh, well, I didn't I didn't know what Klezmer was myself at the time, but um, but yeah, I said sure, I'll give it a go. So we met up and rehearsed a bit, and then um, and then we played a gig, and then more people heard us play and, and joined the band. So over the year. And you're all students at the Royal College of uh, Music and Drama in Cardiff? Yeah, um, we all are at various stages. I left a year ago. Some of the guys are still there for another year. Um, but, yeah, we, I think we're unique among the college's uh, groups that we span pretty much the whole music department. We've got a jazzer, we've got a percussion, wind, brass and, and a cellist as well. Should we say hello to them all? Uh, yeah, sure. Yeah. OK, so, so tell us who's who and who's um, on we've what. We've got... Dave Guy on the double bass. He's going to do a bit of playing. Uh, we got Tom Gorst on accordion. We got James Hume on uh, the cajon, which is a Peruvian hidden box. <laughs> We've got uh, Rossini Bartolotti Hayward, who's the guy you just heard, on guitar. <laughs> Uh, and we've got Jacob Shaw on the saxophone. Welcome, nice. all of you. And what about you, Adam? What's and your I'm instrument? I'm a clarinetist. Go on, give us a... Hang on. There it goes. My sister tried to learn the clarinet. Did it sound like that? It didn't like sound that? anything like no. that, no. no. It Very takes nice. a while. Beautiful, beautiful J instrument. Just explain the peculiar instrumentation of the band, because um, there's, um, <laughs> there's no drum or bass outfit. You, it's clarinets, accordions, cellos, trombones. Mm, well, we started off as a trio, just... Uh, Myself, clarinet, um, guitar and bass, uh, which works perfectly well. And the, the, traditional, the traditional klezmer lineup is that plus accordion. Um, and the reason there's no drums or bass is because it's, it's basically folk music and you can do what you like with it. And these are just the guys that happen to show an interest. Yeah, it, it's, it, it sounds like it's kind of really... Um... Wow, what's the word? He's kind of—he's got a real happy vibe to it, hasn't it? Oh, sure, and, yeah. And a party no, I mean, sort of vibe to it. It must be great to play and and to watch the reaction of people that you're playing to. Yeah, well, very much. We we did um, a gig at the Welsh Proms last week, which was our first real recital performance. Yes. Um, generally, we're we're in bars and clubs and that sort of thing where you can really feed off the audience, which which really helps. I'm presuming it's quite difficult to get gigs at the start because no one's heard of Klezmer music. It's a very hard thing to sell. It it is because. I don't think it's too much of an exaggeration to say we've never had a bad gig. Um, we've ne we, we, it goes down well. Everyone who hears yes. us, we bus quite a lot, which is, you know, we get quite a few gigs out of that. Um, and, you know, old, old people seem to like it. Young kids dancing around love it. Um, so, yeah, it's just a hard thing to sell when you say, oh, yeah, we're, we're Eastern European folk music. They're like, oh, yeah, sure. Okay. <laughs> yeah. yeah, we'll go with that. You, you mentioned busking. I just wonder, for a group of musicians like yourselves, is busking worth it, uh, I suppose, is it for the exposure and for people to book you for gigs or is it worth it for the, for the money that you earn when you're busking? We or both. do fairly well yeah. um, with the money of it. I mean, if there's, if there's about six of us out there, we'll earn enough for beer money that night, that sort of thing. Yeah. Uh, but sure, I mean, we, we've been asked to play quite a lot um, in bars and things. And once you get one gig, you know, more follow from that. So it's, it's great for the exposure. And it, obviously, if you're on the road, if you're touring, it's a nice way to earn a bit of money during the day while you're on some downtime. Now, I hear the big time is beckoning already and uh, Britain's Got Talent have been knocking on the door. How, how did that go? Well, um, <laughs> <laughs> Not so we, well. Did, um, we did go for Britain's Got Talent last year. Um, and we, there was a lot of waiting around, that sort of thing. So when we turned up, they, they at first, they, they weren't quite sure what klezmer was. They said, you know, who plays the klezmer? <laughs> which, 
which we were taken aback by a little bit and we explained to them, no, you know, that's the style of music. And they weren't too hot on the folk music either. They said, do you do um, Hit Me Baby One More Time? <laughs> which we sort of said, you know, no, not really. We're a, we're a klezmer band. But we have thought about doing a few covers, you know. We, we haven't really nailed any yet, but... If you watch this space, maybe you'll hear us doing Hit Me Baby one more time. <laughs> <laughs> um, and what about um, the future? I mean, is it, this? How, how long have you guys been together now? It's been about, well, as you say, two years since me and Rossi started yes. it off. Probably about a year in the current lineup. So is this something you want to take um, much further? Definitely, yeah. yeah, definitely. I mean, we're, we're always going to be a Cardiff-based band, yeah. but I think a, a few of us are going to London next year where we're going to try and get a few gigs. We, we're in preliminary stages planning a winter tour, just taking it to, you know, different areas of the country. We must be much more open to world music now than we used to be. I mean, it, it is easier to get to get gigs and to get a new audience to world music, isn't it? Well, I, I think so. I mean, there are a lot of... Lot of um, well, with, with the internet and um, Spotify and things like that, you can listen to all types of music really quickly. And, uh, and there are a lot of world music festivals as well that happen, like WOMAD in this country, and big, big festivals that bring in music from all over the world. So, yeah, people are definitely more receptive to it in this yeah. country. And I suppose you're, you're, you've got a certain uniqueness about you. There can't be too many um, bands like yours around these, around these areas. You know, I, I wonder how many there are, how many there might be in Wales. I think there, there's only one other I know of in Wales. Apparently. Yeah. Apparently, <laughs> but they're, they're not as good as us. <laughs> <laughs> we're, def we're definitely the best Klezmer band in Wales. I think, I think we, if, we, if that's not overstating it. You know. we, better, we better put this to the test, I think. I what think we think? should, yes. Yeah. Um, absolutely. Take your places guys um i think we should uh, we should hear you live uh, let's listen to uh, the klezmer collective uh, we let adam and uh, and rossi go over and uh, get ready with their instruments and uh, and find a microphone uh, what are we going to hear first of all what's this uh, what's this first piece um this tune's called uh, golden wedding golden it's wedding where the music comes from nice. okay okay I'll take it go. away guys
England. Fabulous. That was Golden Wedding from uh, Klezmer oh, Collective, that the uh, Cardiff band. Wouldn't that be brilliant? That is brilliant wedding music, though, isn't it? It's you very can happy imagine music. that at a wedding. Fabulous. We and love you, it. you look like you enjoy it so much when you're playing as well. Sure you could not right enjoy ahead. that, could you? <laughs> it's brilliant. Really, really great. Wow. And we must say that you've got a gig on tonight, guys, at uh, the Cardiff uh, Arts Institute in uh, in Park Place tonight. At what time? Uh, starts at eight. We'll be on about half nine ish. Excellent. Well, it, it's it's a wonderful sound. It is so terrific, and we wish you every success. I know you're going to be hugely successful. It's an yes. absolutely fabulous. Thank you so sound. much for coming to see us today. Really, really good. Wasn't that excellent? The Klezmer Collective live here on BBC Radio Wales. Thank you.